Welcome, folks, to the woodshed. Junior's what? done started the show. We done started it. We're out here on a Tuesday evening talking about fire and beer and anything else we want to talk about. I just want to let you all know, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Please hit it. Because if you don't hit it, this channel is not going to succeed, and we're not going to be able to bring you these fire videos anymore. So, if you like the fire videos, you like the beer reviews, you like the chat that we talk about, because we pretty much talk about anything. I like to talk about daily activities and whatnot. So, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, we're going to go on and talk about some beers. We've had several beers this evening, and I got some of them lined up there by the fire. Some of them are seltzers, which is a diet beer for some of us that got to be careful on what we drink. And then there's a couple other ones. I think I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, flash on so we can take a look at them. All right, boys and girls. Are you going to start on the left or start on the right? We have a Fantastic Haze IPA Imperial 9% ABV Sierra Nevada. Very good beer. High alcohol. IPA taste. Very good. We also had for a test tonight. It's hard to read it on the bottle, but it's a Worsteiner Dunkel. It's a barley malt that is truly not real, real strong, but if you like the browns and the porters. Hey, Junior, how many of those have you had? Oh, I've had a couple in my time, but I've not. You, you notice mm, the, the, the label over there in the, it looks white, and on your little screen it looks blue. Well, it's, supposed to, be, it's supposed to be white. But anyway, Worst Diner Dunkel, pretty good beer, sitting here in front of the fire. Had some seltzers tonight. Some of them were pretty sporty. Eight percenters. We had some Bud Light Platinum Wild Berry Seltzer, eight percent. ABV, along with some Blood Light Seltzer, Black Cherry, 5% ABV, along with a Corona Seltzer, Mango, Mango. Flavored, 4.5% ABV. So, you can see across that wide variety of different alcoholic beverages to sit here in front of the fire it works out for me pretty good because i can get some ipa taste which i love i can get a little brown ale which I'm not get a little bit of get a little bit of buzz as mr j says over here you got a little buzz the platinum seltzer eight percent by bud light is jam up one of my favorites. I really actually like it. I like the wild berry. I like the lime. I like the orange. I pretty much like them all. So, anytime you get a chance, try some of these beers. You'll probably like them. Fire's going good. It's a nice, quiet Tuesday evening. I was looking at some of the dang stock market today. And I think it ended up pretty good. So any of you folks out there that got some money invested in there, I think it did pretty good. One of my favorite stocks that I really, really like and I own some of, I ain't going to lie to you, I own some of it, is a Neo. It's an EV manufacturer. Tell everybody out there in TV land what EV means. EV means electric vehicle. So if you like the electric vehicles, that's the thing in the future. It's coming, folks. Like it or not, the internal combustion engine 
is going to ease on to existence at some point in time. And we will not have those type of vehicles. We're going to be supporting the EV market. Whether it don't matter if it's a Neo or some other brand. It don't matter. The thing of it is, clean energy is coming in the future. Trying to avoid all of those oil combustion engines so basically what i'm trying to say here is if you're actually an investor and you're into some wanting to make some money look into that ev thingy out there in the stock market because i've been looking into it for several weeks now and I'm very very pleased with the EV market the EV market is doing very well oh I need to take my flash off mr. J why didn't uh, you tell well, me we were we were so looking at I was wondering whether or not you were able to see the, the light we were looking at a bad fire in there because I had the flash on and I apologize for that I got to talking, and sometimes when I get to talking, I totally forget what's going on around me. And so I couldn't really show the fire real good because of that whole ordeal of the flash. And if all you folks out there that's been around for a while, back in the day, we had Dukes of Hazard. And you know what the Dukes of Hazard had? They had the Flash. And you know who the Flash was? Flash was the little dog. He was a little basset hound. Can you name the car, Junior? General Lee. General Lee, yeah, you're right. It, it was, who's the guy in charge? Was like Boss Hogg or something like Boss that? Boss Hogg was in charge of the Hazard County. So any of you folks that's been around for a while and remember that old show on the TV, The Dukes of Hazard. You had the boss hog, and you had the old-timer Jesse Duke, who was running them distilleries. And he had some nephews, Bo and Luke, and they rode that 01 General Lee all through the town. Can you tell me the number that was on the side of that car? 01. I thought it was 57. No, no, it was 01. 01 was on the side of the General Lee. I'll have to look into that. I'm... 99.9% sure it was a General Lee. But you're not 100% sure. No, I'm not 100% so sure. It could be a you, of era. You could be right. It could be 57, but I really doubt it because I think it was 01. Had those rebel flags on it, and everybody's all in a big old uproar about those rebel flags lately. <laughs> but you know... It's history, folks, and you can't erase history, so no matter how much you try or want to do it, history's history. That's all I got to say about that. The fire's starting to die down a little bit, but we still got all those beers out there. Kinda, we already talked about them beers. Too. We did talk about them beers. You're right. We talked about those beers. I'm drinking another beer right now as we speak. All right, just something a little popped up on top of the screen there. Ah, that beer is pretty good. So, we talked about some beers. We talked about the fire. We talked about stock market. Talked about some Neo. Talked about some EVs. Talked about the General Lee. I don't know what else there is to talk about for tonight. The weather, at least here where we're at, pretty good. It's pretty good weather. Temperatures, pretty nice. Got a little fire. Got a little crackle pop going on. Maybe tomorrow we might get a little rain, according to the AccuWeather. I hope we don't get a lot of rain, but we might get a little bit. We'll see. But we ain't scared. We don't scared. We'll come out here in the rain. We'll put an umbrella up. And sit by the umbrella and light a fire and talk because we just ain't scared. 
scared. Scared. We ain't scared. There's a guy there. Junior up though. Over 10 minutes. Say what? Is that 10 minutes? I even can't even see it. Uh, right. What is this? Like Arabic numbers or something? Yeah. So, anyway, folks, if you manage to stick around as far with this channel, do us all a favor. Freaking subscribe. Subscribe. That subscribe button down below. Smash it, bang it, whatever you got to do to stuck. Hit that like button and do all that good stuff. Because if you do it, the YouTube algorithm will pick us up, and you might be hearing there might be Junior and Mr. J, in the future. And, and you might be hearing some better things, so if you like it, do it, and let's keep this channel going. This channel's new, and we're trying our best to create content that you all will like, so any comments are more than welcome. And you know what? Y'all have a good old day out there. And we'll come back at you tomorrow. This is Junior and Mr. J. Signing off. Signing off from the woodshed.